A cat heard that the birds in an aviary were ailing, so he got himself up as a doctor and, taking with him a set of instruments proper to his profession, presented himself at the door and inquired after the health of the birds. We shall do very well, they replied, without letting him in. We've seen the last of you. The Spendthrift and the Swallow A spendthrift, who had wasted his fortune and had nothing left but the clothes in which he stood, saw a swallow one fine day in early spring. Thinking that summer had come, and that he could now do without his coat, he went and sold it for what it would fetch. A change, however, took place in the weather, and there came a sharp frost, which killed the unfortunate swallow. When the spendthrift saw its dead body, he cried, Miserable bird! Thanks to you, I'm perishing of cold myself. The Moon and Her Mother The moon once begged her mother to make her a gown. How can I? replied she. There's no fitting your figure. At one time you're a new moon, and another you're a full moon, and between whiles you're neither one nor the other. Mercury and the Woodman a woodman was felling a tree on the bank of a river, when his axe, glancing off the trunk, flew out of his hands and fell into the water. As he stood by the water's edge, lamenting his loss, Mercury appeared and asked him the reason for his grief, and on learning of what had happened, out of pity for his distress, he dived into the river and, bringing up a golden axe, asked him if it was the one he had lost. The woodman replied that it was not, and Mercury then dived in a second time, and bringing up a silver axe, asked if it was his. No, that's not mine either, said the woodsman. Once more Mercury dived into the water, and brought up the missing axe. The woodman was overjoyed at recovering his property, and thanked his benefactor warmly, and the latter was so pleased with his honesty that he made him a present of the other two axes. When the woodsman told the story to his companions, one of these was filled with envy of his good fortune and determined to try his luck for himself. So he went to fell a tree at the edge of the river and presently contrived to let his axe drop in the water. Mercury appeared as before and, on learning that his axe had fallen in, he dived and brought up a golden axe as he had done on the previous occasion. Without waiting to be asked whether it was his or not, the fellow cried, That's mine, that's mine and stretched out his hand eagerly for the prize. But Mercury was so disgusted at his dishonesty that he not only was declined to give him the golden axe, but also refused to recover for him the one he had let fallen into the stream.